I'm Brian Fuller. Check out these testimonials of guys that have become workshop heroes by doing less work and more play. Morning guys, this is Jay Carey, 1963 Jag, coming to you with uh, a little uh, side story here. I decided uh, that I was going to try some new material that I found on the internet, Metal Rescue. And uh, I've used some of this stuff before, different kinds. This stuff looked pretty good, it's green, you know, you don't have to worry about throwing it in the, uh, in the sewers or, or down the drain if you wanted to get rid of the residue. And they say that you don't have to uh, do a lot of brushing and prepping, but just as an experiment, I went ahead and brushed and prepped this metal bracket to the best of my ability. I don't know how well you can see here, but this has got a lot of pits. It was heavily rusted. This uh, bracket that held the door frame, uh, sorry, the window frame inside the door, and uh, you know, I cleaned it up as best I could. Now I got another one here that I'm not gonna do anything to. So here's one that just, that's the way it came out of the car. Just really rusted. Uh, I'm gonna put this stuff in these little plastic buckets here and uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll surprise me and uh, I'm gonna throw this little nut, uh, captive nut clip guy in here. It's got a little bit of rust. I couldn't really brush it because it's got a lot of recesses and stuff. So liquid rust removers are great for that kind of stuff. So we're going to give it a try. I haven't tried it before. It's brand new. You're going to watch it with me and see how this is going to work out. I don't really know how this stuff smells. No, it doesn't really smell. So straight on, according to them. And uh, actually, you can use it again and again, right? So once these things are cleaned off, perhaps, one would argue that you could put other stuff in there. And there you go, just enough to cover the metallic uh, devices and off we go. So I'll, I'll put this on pause and I'll uh, turn it back on in a little while, see what kind of activity we're gonna get. Okay, um, I've added some heat lamp to try and heat up the materials. I was looking at the container and it warns against using it when it's cold and it's about 65 degrees outside and my garage is not heated so I went ahead and added uh, a work lamp that throws off a fair amount of heat so I can feel that on the back of my hand all the way over here so I'm assuming you know that'll bring the temperature up inside the liquid but it's been about half an hour and I can't see a single thing I mean not even a bubble so this isn't looking too good so far the rust remover worked unbelievably good. I can't kind of believe it myself. Check this out. You, you know, saw that when I put that in the in the liquid. It's been about two and a half hours, maybe three hours total that it's been in there. This is really a miracle. This thing, you might remember, was pitted like crazy. I had already wire brushed it, but it's like white clean now. And then that little captive nut that was full of rust is... Uh, some rust still down in the threads, actually, but everywhere else it took it off really, really well. Just so you guys can see it here, it's called Metal Rescue. It's pretty amazing. You just search it on Google, you'll find it. Wow. There you go. So rust removal is possible without tons of elbow grease and hard work. Check this out. Jeez.